Okay. My mind is blown. I am today years old and I am discovering that Kirk Franklin had a TV sitcom in 1997 that never aired. And I got to send a big shout out to the IMC on TikTok because if I was not just doing my daily scrolling (laughs) through the timeline, I would have not known anything about this or even thought about the idea of Kirk Franklin having a TV show. The only thing that exists is the pilot, which seems like that was the only episode, quote unquote, that was filmed. And shout out to back in the day because they uploaded it in three parts on their YouTube channel 12 years ago. 12 years ago and it seems like only a good handful of people only know that this show existed i mean kurt franklin hasn't really even mentioned this joint in interviews or anything that he's done over the years so i ain't gonna lie kurt if you watch if you listen to this We need to do something where we need to talk about this because I'm very curious as to why this show didn't take off and how it all came together for you to even have your own show. It's like I've watched this show or the pilot, um, so to speak, three times since I made the discovery. And I must say. I really did enjoy it. It seems like Kirk's character, Kirkland, uh, plays a musician who, you know, stepped out on faith, tried to get his career up and jumping, and just typical industry foolishness, bad business. Kirk, are you in trouble? No, no, no. I was, yes. <laughs> What kind? Regular black folk trouble. <laughs> uh, got in his way, hindered his path, and eventually led him to move back with his sister, who is played by the incredible Jennifer Lewis. And it's a trip to see people like Brian Hooks, Ken Lawson. I mean, Ken Lawson, before he got his big break on the Parkers, previously was on L. Cool J's In the House. All in all, man, it really do seem like this show was supposed to be something big. It was supposed to be something special. And I ain't gonna lie, like, part of me is in my feelings a little bit. Because I would have loved to see this show go on for, like, four or five years. Uh, and, it, and, it, and it gives me the vibes that it was supposed to be on UPN. Again, I don't understand why this show didn't take off but at the same time i could see why it didn't and the reason being you got a show that was really centered around spirituality i mean kirk's character is someone who went through trials and tribulations and in a very symbolic way He's trying to come back home in a sense of finding his real true self by working with these kids, finding his purpose. Because the thing that he did before didn't work out. He lost money. He lost his job. Now he's living with his sister. And he has to find a new way while walking with faith walking with god with this new path that he's taken with this choir but like everybody else when you're trying to do the right thing you're gonna get tested somebody's gonna come in your ear and tell you like you should do the opposite of what you're doing the opposite of what god has you 
dare for. And I don't know who the writers is of that show or that pilot. But man, they did a perfect job of capturing the essence of what I don't even want to say religious people. We're all spirit beings, so I will just keep it at that. But what people who walk with God and are just simply trying to do the right thing, people who deal with these conflicts every day within themselves, these voices, these demons, right? They captured the essence of spirituality perfectly well. And Kirk did an incredible job acting wise, in my opinion. I don't know what anybody else is going to say, but I loved everything about it, man. And again, I'm just like (laughs) in my feelings because, man, I would have loved to see that take off. And do something special for sure. And the trippy thing is. You see people like. Tina Campbell from Mary Mary. In the choir. John Gray. These folks that went on. To do great things. So I guess man. Maybe everything happens for a reason. Because everybody's career. Turned out. Perfect. Even though this show didn't take off. So. Again, I guess everything do happen for a reason. But, yeah, man, to make that discovery, yeah, I don't even know what to say. I just been locked in (laughs) on watching those three parts. And, like I said, man, just honestly digging it. I've really been appreciating it. And, again, I would have loved to see what it would have become had somebody picked up on it so that's all i have to say let me know what you think i'm really curious to know what y'all think for sure y'all gotta let me know so thank you for listening thank you for watching until next time so much love to you god bless peace you brought me here didn't you I mean, only you could have come up with the vanilla ice thing. And and I know you didn't bring me here to do what I did. So please make it all right with me and the kids. Especially Regis. So I can go about doing your business. Thank you.